look a bit younger and probably also they want something that is safe and that isn't going to cost the earth, that isn't invasive and that most people probably would love to end up having the results of a facelift but mm -hmm. do want to go through you know, the risks of it and the downtime of it. You know? Patrick has decided the first part of Ellen's makeover will be the Polaris laser lift. Polaris is a laser which combines radio frequency energy with pulsed light. A topical anesthesia cream is applied to the skin an hour before treatment to minimise any discomfort. Then, while the laser is moved across the skin, cool air is sprayed to counteract any heat generated by the beam. The laser works by faking an assault on the lower layers of the skin, which, in its defence, produces a new configuration of collagen and elastin cells. These cells rise to the surface of the skin in a matter of weeks, smoothing out fine lines and wrinkles while reducing redness and brown blotches. Join us next time for the second part of Ellen's makeover, when she will be having a series of dermal fillers to smooth out those lines and wrinkles. Now, if you want to knock them dead this Christmas, or indeed if you're prepared... The first part of Ellen Haggerty's Christmas makeover was a Polaris laser lift. To help with lines and wrinkles, she is going to try a dermal filler called Restylin. The problem that we're going to attempt to rectify here is um, the lines in Ellen's upper lip. So Ellen, if you just kiss again for a moment, so we can see that there's it's three to four on either side, and that's, you know, fairly normal. A synthetic form of hyaluronic acid, a substance found in the body, this is used to plump out lines and wrinkles in certain areas of the face to great effect. Dr. Tracy has decided to treat Ellen's lip and chin area, as well as the nose to lip region, which is one of the first places we notice sagging as we age. So, Helen, you're finished? Yes. Yeah, you've had, you had Polaris and you had Restylane injections. How did that feel? The Polaris was beatable, but not very pleasant. Um, <laughs> the injections, no, that was beatable. It was what well, you it? had yeah, you had some local anaesthetic cream put on first, so that must have helped with any discomfort. Yeah, mm. yeah, but the, you could still feel when it went onto your bone in the Polaris, you could you could feel a sort of an electric shock. shock. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I think what we're going to do tomorrow is, I'm sort of concerned um, about little sort of um, volume loss that she has here in mm. her face. Now, um, there is a particular compound that we put in here. It's almost like a prosthesis. It's almost like a little implant that we can put in to restore the, um, the patient's volume. Certainly, she doesn't need very much, you know? And I can certainly restore um, a little bit of volume here. And um, again, this will be a slightly painful technique because the facial nerve runs very close to here. Mm. And as a consequence, we don't tend to do a regional block of anesthesia. We don't tend to shut down the whole face because um, it's preferable the patient has some um, feeling during the, per the procedure. Well, Ellen, I, mean, I tell you, mm. you are going to look <laughs> astonishing at the end of this. I'm really jealous <laughs> myself. Guys, thank you very much for today. Okay, not at all. Thank you all. Thank for you. It.